Welcome to another video. Let's quickly solve some integration problem. I've got the hyperbolic secant of x. We've got to take the integral and be done. The biggest problem with this problem is if you don't know the definition of hyperbolic secant, which I call sech. I know many people don't like that, but that's what I call it. And it sounds like it. What is the definition of hyper hyperbolic secant? Because if you don't know that, you try to use some weird identities, you're going to get stuck. Or maybe your answer gets more complicated. So hyperbolic secant is this. That's all you need to tell yourself, that hyperbolic secant is the reciprocal of hyperbolic cosine. <laughs> Let's get into the video. So with this definition, all I have to do is say that this is equal to one over, I know the definition of hyperbolic cosine, it's gonna be um, e to the x, plus e to the negative x divided by 2. And I know that if I flip this, it's going to be 2 over e to the x plus e to the negative x. That is this. So if I'm asked to take this integral, I shouldn't have a problem with this, right? Because um, I can see this as, look at this. This is the same thing as 2 um, over e to the x plus 1 over e to the x. That's the nicest way to put it. And to get rid of a fraction within a fraction, you can just multiply the top and bottom by e to the x. We write it this way. So if I multiply the top by e to the x, I'm going to get, so I can say that the integral, the integral hyperbolic secant x dx is equal to the integral of, watch this, this is going to be 2e to the x, 2e to the x, over, this multiplied by this gives me e to the x squared, and this multiplies by, multiplied by this gives me 1. So, clearly, what I have here is also here, and I know the derivative of e to the x is still going to show up in front. I just use my u substitution. So I say let u be equal to e to the x, such that du is equal to e to the x dx. And I have e to the x dx here, right? So it means this integral, when it comes down here, I have it to be equal to, I can pull this 2 to the back. So I have 2 times the integral of, now, e to the x dx will be replaced by du. So I have du on top. And under, I have u squared plus 1. Nice. Remember? Mm -hmm. It's octan. So my answer is 2 times the inverse tangent of u plus c. And I know what u was from the beginning. I said let my u be e to the x. So I have 2 times inverse tangent of e to the x plus c. That is the integral. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.